Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews, everyone. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. So, earlier this morning, I watched the movie Rapid Fire with Brandon Lee. Gotta say, it took me a while to see this movie. Uh, approximately 20-odd years to see this movie. Um, <clears throat> I was uh, living here at the time when I this movie came to my attention. And a friend of mine, who is no longer with us, long may he rest... Um, told me to check it out. Unfortunately, I never got the chance to. But now that I did, later years later, here is my review. So, Brandon Lee, to give a brief background in the movie, he is a college student who survived the massacre at Tiananmen Square. He is a Chinese-born, or Chinese-born uh, student who was at Tiananmen Square. His father was murdered at Tiananmen Square from the massacre and well living in LA he's at a college and he witnesses a murder and things go sideways he's or a bunch of corrupt uh, feds are going after him and uh, they're all tied to the mafia guy who he witnessed murder somebody you got great stunt work in this movie and you got a good cast. You got uh, Raymond Berry, Powers Booth, Nick Man Mancuso, Zima, Al Leong, who uh, we all know from. Well, let me uh, pull it up. Al Leong. Uh, he was in the movie, uh, or and he actually is in a fight with Brendan Lee in this film. And I gotta say, it was a great fight. That fight scene was freaking top notch. Um, you actually, or I've seen Al Leong uh, in Big Trouble in Little China. He does some great work in there, but it's very, um, very quick and gritty. You don't really get to see him shine in this movie. You really get to see Al Leong shine. And he actually does a wonderful job when he's fighting Brendan Lee. He's actually given the character that Brendan Lee plays, Jake Lowe, a uh, a run for his money. He act, he's actually kicking the shit out of him with really swift moves. And so Brendan Lee actually starts busting out some of his father's old moves from Enter the Dragon, Bruce Lee. <laughs> and it's like, holy crap, dude. He's got his father's skill. Let's just say that Bruce or Brendan Lee definitely has a lot of his father's skill. And I really like this movie. However, there are some things that I feel were kind of not really needed. There was a uh, there's a obligatory sex scene, as they call them in the '90s. There was the obligatory sex scenes, and he's a witness to a crime. Yet one of the female cops sleeps with him. And I'm thinking to myself, um, isn't that kind of considered witness tampering? I mean, if you think about it, it, it is real, that's witness tampering. And it's, I mean, don't get me wrong, Kate Hodge is quite hot, but I just feel that there was no need for that scene to really happen. And it was intercut with this uh, botched raid that the police were doing with Powers Booth's character, Mace Ryan. And, uh... However, I really do think that this movie is a good 90s movie. Um, it shows that he had to basically help put away the mob boss. However, the mob boss gets killed in jail, so he, he can now just go home, except that he also witnessed other crimes. He just wants to go home, but he gets turned around after he has sex with the cop, who's uh, also partnered with Powers Booth's character. So, he helps, he decides to let his conscience play, and he helps her. Uh, this film has, it's cheesy 90s action flick fun. Um, it's great action, however, the choreography in the, or in this film, is a really well done job. I mean, most, or the three movies that I've seen Brendan Lee in, Rapid Fire, The Crow, and, uh, Showdown in Little Tokyo. 
he does a great job with the choreography, and the choreography is well done in the film as well with everybody else. Uh, Raymond Berry plays a crooked FBI agent. Um, but, yeah, this film, great cast, great uh, direction by Dwight Little. I've seen a few of his movies. He's done a great job uh, to give you guys an idea of Dwight Little's films um, and his work that he has directed with. Uh, from Dust Till Dawn, the series, Matador, Scorpion, Bones. He's done a lot of TV, but he, or during the 90s, he did a lot of, or he did some movies that I actually still enjoy to this day. Broken Arrow, Murder at 1600, Free Willy 2, thought that was a great movie. Uh, Anacondas, apparently he also did Halloween 4, which uh, I have on my wish list. But yeah. He did, or, and a lot of other shows, and apparently a couple other movies. So, yeah, Dwight Little is a pretty good director, because the direction in this uh, movie, aside from the un unneeded, yet still obligatory, because it was the 90s, that sex scene, could have done without. There was a botched, or they could have just showed the botched raid, or... And that was it. There was really no reason for Brendan Lee to dip his wick into Kate Hodge in this. So, other than that, objectively, the film is around, I'd say, a solid eight. Objectively, you got great, uh, you got great action. You got great um, acting. Some of the uh, writing could be a little bit better. Uh, some of the uh, scenes could be cut out, like the sex scene. I mean, they could have trimmed that out completely, and it wouldn't have made a difference for this movie, or it actually would have improved the movie, because honestly, I don't think that it's really uh, necessary for a cop to be sleeping with a witness for a prosecution. You know? Uh, kind of doesn't make sense. But the fight choreography in this movie is well done, very well done. I mean, I've seen... Or when you take a look at movies that are done now and movies that are done in the past when it comes to fight choreography, I recently did the uh, Mortal Kombat uh, mystery review. The fight choreography for this movie, which was made before Mortal Kombat, was actually very well done. This had quick, snappy moves where Mortal Kombat, you had actors who were not fully trained and had to uh, really get into the moves. Now, certain fights in Mortal Kombat were very fast-paced and they were done well. However, other fights were not. You could really tell how well they were trained as they were going through these film or these fights. Um, but this film did a really good job with the fights. Al Leong versus Brandon Lee was a really good freaking fight. Like I said, that fight was top tier. Uh, the final fight between uh, Z Ma's character, who uh, was Kinman Tao, or as they called Tommy Tao, or Tommy Tao in the film. However, his name is Kinman Tommy Tao, and uh, Brandon Lee on the uh, train tracks with the electrified uh, railways. That was pretty good, too. Um, it was 90s style good. I wouldn't say it was, uh, or it would hold up much today. However, I think that this movie is very well done. Uh, on a subjective level, I would put this movie at a 9 out of 10. Take out the, the sex scene. It really didn't offer much to the film. I mean, I can actually now more appreciate uh, my friend or my friend Odin from OMB Reviews. Uh, obligatory se sex scenes from the 90s. Honestly, they some of them work, some of them don't. If it suits the story, fine. If not, what's the reason? Just skim. But yeah, anyway folks, that's going to be... Oh, moviegoer. If you like 90s action-packed films, this one is for you. It's a 10 out of 10. But, uh, so yeah, 8 out of 10 objective, 9 out of 10 subjective, and 10 out of 10 uh, moviegoer. Great, uh, great movie. Solid movie. Um, Powers Booth. Everybody knows him from uh, 
the first Avengers film, and then the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. movie, or show, where he played the corrupt uh, Hydra Shadow Council member from S.H.I.E.L.D. But yeah, that's going to be the, or he actually did a good job in this movie too, as a kind of like a rogue cop that was helping out Brendan Lee's character. Anyway, that is going to be the video. You all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, folks. What did you think of Rapid Fire? Did you see it? Did you not? Uh, let me know your scenes that you really liked. What did you think of the fight between Al Leong and Brendan Lee? I mean, that was top tier for a 90s fight scene. Anyway, let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below, folks. This has been our chat review. Have a wonderful day, and always remember, stay humble.